our new YouTube channel. I'm Tori. And I'm Travis. And welcome to our new channel. You already said that, babe. Oh, my bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so what we'll be doing is taking you on a journey of what it's like to be an interracial couple, mm -hmm. uh, especially in Texas. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So for starters, we'll tell you a little bit about ourselves. Um, do you want to go first, babe? Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, I'm Travis, as you guys uh, already heard earlier. Um, originally, I was born in a little place called Old Wine, Iowa. Not many people there, so um, grew up in Arizona, Scottsdale, to be specific. So, um, and then after that, uh, 2010 moved to Austin. So, um, yeah, I love it here. Austin's a great town. Um, I'm very active. I like doing sports, basketball, volleyball. Um, anything on the water I like to do, um, and just, yeah, just enjoy being outdoors. Yeah, very cool. I'm from Waco, Texas, which is a little small town uh, between Austin and Dallas. Mm -hmm. And I think I, it's known for a lot of things, but um, we have like the Dr. Pepper Museum there, but it's mostly known for, uh, at least now, Chip and Joanna, would you say? What they have Pretty there? Pretty much. And, and the cult. Um, Oh the yeah, cool David Koresh. Yeah, David Koresh. Yeah. Can't forget about that. <laughs> Before Chip and Joanna, there's always David Koresh. That's right. Uh, that's true, babe. Yeah. Um, and so anyway, so about a year and a half ago, I decided to pick up things and just move to Austin. And that's where I met this guy. <laughs> so how do we meet, babe? Um, we met on a dating website. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what was that dating website? A little place called Tinder. So we met on Tinder. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And shout out to Tinder. Um, and I just, I never really thought I could actually find love on Tinder. So when I first got on there, I was like, okay, this is fun. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was kind of cool to go on these dates and like, but I, you know, I never really expected that it would turn into like love. And so I was getting tired of it. It was getting played out. I was getting bored with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually get off. This is it. I've had enough. And then I keep swiping and I see this guy. Three days old on Tinder. Three days old on Tinder. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I was like, okay, he's kind of cute. He's not bad. Not bad, you not know. Not better. Wait. No, okay. baby. <laughs> yeah, um, see, that was, that was a test. There you, you go. Good job, baby. Um, and so I was like, I'm going to message him. And I did. And I'm so glad I did because um, we hit it off really well. We were talking. It was like nonstop. And um, did you ask me for my number? Or did I ask no, you? you asked me for my. You said, I "Hey, you you're, you're, yeah, you're like, hey, let's just communicate off a of tender. It's gonna be a lot easier." Hey. <laughs> I, I, it was easier. That's what you said. Um, but no, I, I did, and um, I'm glad that we did. We start talking, and we talk like every single night. Um, I think I said we were. Well, actually, we were texting for a while, weren't we? Like three or four days. Yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I want to hear your voice. And he was like, right now? I was, like, I was like, no, I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> yeah, I think he was nervous. I was, yeah, I was a little nervous. Yeah, so I was like, of course, I want to hear your voice like right now. And so um, we talked and we talked and we talked and we talked. And I was just like, I really, really, really like this guy. And so we decided to spend New Year's together. That was the well, Hold on, let's back up a minute. Okay. So I, I told her one thing when we first started texting. And she was like, nope. This guy's done. What'd I tell you? So we almost didn't actually get to where we are now because of what happened in the beginning. Um, everybody knows that whenever you're doing online dating and you know you ask someone for a picture, well, you definitely want them to send one that's not necessarily already on their um, photos and so that they have online so I was like okay can you send me a picture of yourself you know and then he's he sends me one that's already on tinder so I was it like was a picture. Was so a I was like uh is this really him because I mean he's just sending me the pictures this I can already see this guy's got three see. pictures is that all the pictures he has yeah and so I just um yeah. I just said you know what I I'm I, I never even like wanted to get to the next level I was like I don't even think this is a guy who is you know <clears throat> is who he says he is and so I just moved on and I was like all right I went to bed I was like oh, I'm not even gonna deal with this and then uh all of a sudden I'll wake up in the morning and I have a, a picture a new picture of, of him and I'm like okay 
maybe this guy is real. Maybe this guy is real. And so from then but on it out, looks like him. We we hit it off really well. We start texting <laughs> a lot um, and talking a lot. And one day I was just like, okay, I want to hear your voice. And so mind you, this is a span like from our first date of like five or six days. It really wasn't that long. From when we started messaging each other? Yeah, it wasn't long. No, it wasn't long at all. Yeah, it was like five or six days. Ma yeah. Maybe a week. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> we were texting that whole time, and I said, I want to hear your voice. And so um, I was driving back from Waco to Austin, and I was like, I want to hear your voice. And he was like, now? And I was just like, yeah. And so since then, we've been talking every day, nonstop, and um, to where we are now. Okay, so our first date, we went and saw uh, a movie. We went and saw Aquaman. Aquaman? Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Aqua? Or Aqua? Aquaman. Aquaman? Okay. I actually don't know. That's a great question. Uh, yeah, that's... I, you I know, know, anybody that can tell us, please tell us. Is it Agua or Aqua? There you go. So, it was a good movie. Um, we uh, just really enjoyed each other's time, and we decided didn't really have any plans for after the movie, so we just um, kind of were winging it. So, uh, enjoyed each other's time. Um, and decided to get some coffee afterwards. So that's kind of how we rang in the new year. That so, sounds so boring. It does sound boring, but it was it was a great time. Do we even drink at all? No, we actually we did. We did. We went to Rainy Street. We had one we drink. Had one. And I literally had to carry her back to her apartment. You did? I did. It was only one drink. You don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on the first date, um, we did go to a movie theater, and I remember just walking up, and you know how you get to, you know, whatever date you're at, and you know, you've never really seen them in person, so you're just kind of like hoping that, oh my God, this person has to just look like their picture, like they just have to. Crossing your fingers. It just crossing your fingers. Yeah. So I guess like I'm walking up closer to him, and the closer I get, I'm just like, okay, he he looks better than his picture. Like I was I was in awe. Hmm. Hmm? And then I see her walking up, and she's just totally humble. She's got her hands in her pocket, and she's got all black on. She got this black jacket, black pants, nothing fancy. Like you know, normally the first day you're you know trying to dress to impress, and she's just like chill. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. That was my first thought. I was like, interesting. She definitely looks like her pictures. <laughs> Not a little better? No, you definitely look better than your pictures. But very modest. So I was like, hmm, interesting. This this is going to be an interesting day. Hmm. Yeah. So we get into the movie theater, and I can sense that he's so nervous. So during the movie, I'm like, I'm like having my hand in his lap, and I'm like inching closer and closer, and just trying to make him feel comfortable. And he just turns over, and he looks at me and goes, I'm really nervous. And I was just like, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, guys, that about wraps it up for us. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions for us, don't forget to comment below. Yes, and stay tuned as we take you on our journey as an interracial couple. We have some trips coming up that we're going to be bringing you guys on as well. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even start a family. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.